everybody, I want to talk tonight about this uh, parallel universe that we're living in, uh, in the media. Uh, I like to go to places where you can see a lot of screens at one time and you can see all these different newscasts going on like CNN and Fox. And uh, like tonight, I'm at the gym and I'm watching, switching back and forth from channel to channel. And it's like on CNN, you're talking about, you know, the Russians and, and um, the testimony of the Attorney General and, you know, all this stuff that's going on, Trump Jr. lying to the, to the you know, whoever. And, and, and then you turn around and you watch uh, Fox and you hear about Uranium One and Hillary Clinton, how she's getting ready to be indicted and how she's going to be indicted and you go to the other channel and how, um, you know, Trump's going to be uh, impeached. You get all this stuff going back and forth and it's just, it's, an, it's craziness because it's like two parallel universes going on. And the thing that's really crazy about this thing is that everybody's getting played. Everybody's getting played. I mean, you can talk about uh, Roy Morris, um, you know, his sexual problems going after young girls. You can talk about Bill Clinton and his problems. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They all got problems. But uh, because one side favor one group of people, the other side favors the other side, you've got this clash going on. And that's why I've always been a big proponent of the internet. Because on the internet, you really do get the unfiltered, um, the un unfiltered, uh, non-biased, um, I wouldn't say truth, but you get the unfiltered, uh, unbiased, um, you know, just like what I'm doing now, you get, you get somebody's point of view without thinking that they have any kind of relationship with, uh, with any kind of uh, affiliation with any kind of these big uh, news outlets like the Washington Post or anything like that. I mean, you get the unfiltered thing, and that's why I love the Internet, and that's why I'm a big proponent, and that's why I think that's the way of the future. And, and if, I'll give you a, a quick uh, example if anybody knows about Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia is an uh, encyclopedia of the Internet. And on Wikipedia, the way it works is you've got everybody develops content. You can go to right now to Wikipedia and you can put up something on Wikipedia. I'm not saying it's going to stick because what's going to happen is somebody's going to look at the, uh, the, the post, they're going to edit it, and if it doesn't have um, a source or some sort of source foundation, they're going to take it down. But the fact of the matter is, is it gets reviewed by a lot of people. Now, the way you get to be a reviewer on Wikipedia is you have... A lot of interaction with Wikipedia. You do a lot of uh, um, stuff with Wikipedia. So if you get to you earn that position of being editor, then there's thousands, maybe tens of thousands of editors, and maybe there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people putting information up. And by that whole process, you really get down to a pretty good resource, which is Wikipedia. Well, that's the way the internet is. I mean, you can sit there on YouTube all night long and watch stuff about all these politicians. And if you watch enough videos, you probably get filtered down to a, you know pretty good truth. But if you listen to Fox, you're going to get lied to. If you listen to CNN, you're going to get lied to. And if you listen to Donald Trump, you're going to get lied to. And I can tell you how you know Donald Trump's a con man. Because the first thing Donald Trump always says is everybody else is fake. Fake news, fake news. Now, when you know that you're listening to somebody that talks about fake news, everybody else is fake, you know you're dealing with a con man. That's a straight up fucking con man. You know, Whenever anybody says something like that, fake, 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 and I'm the person, I'm, I'm the base of reality, I'm the base of truth, fucking con man, fucking con man. So anyway, we're all being played by the medias. Hopefully the medias go away one day. I mean, CNN's got to be, uh, Ted Turner's got to be the largest landowner in the United States by the wealth accumulated by advertising on, people advertising on CNN. Hopefully that all goes away. Maybe that, uh, that all goes away, and I think Fox all goes away. Fox has already taken a lot of blows over all their anchors and people on their newscast and all the problems they've had. Bill O'Reilly goes on and on and on and on and on. Roger Ailes and all these people. So none of them are telling the truth. They're all telling what they're biased and they're slants. Um, even though if you agree or don't agree with it, it's all biased and it's all slanted. So that's what I fight for and that's what I encourage people to do. Just to go on the internet, start researching and do research on the internet. That's your truth source is the internet. Uh, not listening to all these slanted, biased newscast news videos, news that people that do all the time are listening to Sean Hannity or anybody like that. I mean, they're all creeps. They're just all total out and out creeps that have made a fortune by pushing a particular uh, uh, political view. And like I say, Trump's a con man. Uh, the fact that he's talking fake news all the time, biggest con man you ever want to. 
Somebody walks up to you and says, oh, everybody else is wrong and I'm right, you better hang on to your wallet because you're getting ready to yank it out of your hands, getting ready to yank it out of your pocket. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.